To protect short plants in small areas or within larger fields, a special type of protection may be used. Non-woody species such as wild cane can be used as vegetative wind barriers. We like the cane for windbreak because it's very fast. It'll, you can have an established windbreak in about eight months. Uh, it's very easy to grow. Cut a piece and stick it in the ground and make it wet and it'll grow. Uh, it doesn't harbor any insect pests and it'll withstand just about any typhoon that comes along. If you are considering using a windbreak, you may want to try a multi-purpose windbreak design. As with many sustainable agricultural practices, when there are multiple benefits derived from the practice, it will have a greater chance of adoption. A multi-purpose windbreak provides wind protection as its principal function and yet serves other valuable functions as well, including fruit, timber or nut-bearing trees in a windbreak will provide crops that can be sold for additional income or used for family food. In areas where winds are only seasonal or not as strong, fruit production can be very satisfactory. In windier areas, yields may be reduced or fruit with less desirable appearance may be produced. Only wind-tolerant species should be used. Appropriate shorter fruit species include starfruit, citrus, noni, mulberry, and guava. Medium height fruit trees include dwarf coconut, avocado, and tamarind. Tall fruit trees that reach a height of 50 feet or more include breadfruit, jackfruit, coconut, and mango. By choosing the appropriate species and designing a system that best suits your situation, windbreaks can be a valuable asset to your farm and offer numerous benefits. For a more thorough list of species and recommended cultivars, see your local extension agent or Natural Resources Conservation Service.